apologies in advance, everybody. I'm Tony. I'm a, I'm a gray beard from Skyrim. Who's And, and I'll I'll find out how we sound here. And after a three-hour setup, I'm Alex. Jesus, tap, dance, and Christ. Yeah, we definitely won't have a full day of recording here uh, at the Metal Joystick for the sake of... We had to set up our rig again, and it took way longer than it should have. But shut the fuck up for a second. Because we got WWE 2K23! Alex splurged and grabbed it for himself, and we're going with the next generation. Yes. And we already made our characters here, so I'm on Raw, Tony's on SmackDown, and Tyler's on NXT, and we're all on e on WCW. But it appears that I am not on Raw so right now, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna simulate all these matches because there's only one show that I really care about, the WCW Nitro. Yes, because WCW Starcade is not on here, which makes me sad. We can't do our Starcade. I think, uh, I think we have to make waves in uh, WCW before we start getting leeway into our own shows. Yeah. Nah, I'll be the headliner on SmackDown. Ooh. I, already, I already know it. Ooh. I'm going up against Kane from 08. Jeez. <laughs> <McMahon versus Eddie. laughs> oh, no. Whoa. Oh, you're going up against Rey Mysterio, and where's Tyler at? I just ain't here, looks like. Oh, oh no! I am. Oh, you're oh, in the... my god! Oh, dude, a star-studded triple threat too! Holy shit! You got that triple treat going. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so let's see John Cena and Goldberg and Andre the Giant in the fucking rock. <laughs> what a match! Yes. Benchilin, what she want? Benchilin. Oh, let's see who won. Oh, John Cena. Wait, what? It turned into a one-on-one -on -one match. Okay. But I'm going as my created character from Valhalla, Greg Dynamite. Ooh, Greg. Oh, he's old Greg. Oh, God, he's old Greg. Old he's Greg. Old Greg. But uh, one thing I got to say after like owning this game for a couple of weeks, this game is like SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 levels of pretty fucking good. All right, I'm glad to hear that. And there's a lot more purchasable, purchasable superstars, so that's pretty cool. And we're on WCW Nitro. Got the WC. You're not a stupid kid. You can read that shit right in the corner. The big red it says Nitro, Nitro, Nitro right on the fucking thing. And it says Snickers up there. Snickers. Oh, dude. Oh, this set looks bad, Aish. It does. 08 Kane. Oh man. I don't know so why, but he, he, he looks old as hell. It appears that the uh, Brothers of Destruction cannot be formed with this Kane. It has to be the uh, masked Kane and regular Undertaker. Because instead of Undertaker 02, like the last game, it has Undertaker 93. Ooh. So he's like in his fucking cloak and shit. Yeah. Badass. Back when his magic powers were a really big uh, gimmick for him. And plus this game just looks pretty. It does. Oh, yeah. Like, even though it's on last gen hardware, it still looks fantastic. Right. I was telling Tyler earlier that I felt like such a scrub coming here with my dusty ass Xbox One right in front of like two PS5s. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. But this is a very special day because this is the uh, the first day that we are recording in the new recording space, so it's pretty cool. We're hoping the audio comes off a little better. Hey. Tony and I had to move, so we've got a whole new recording area and. Uh, it's a whole new, whole new situation now. Yes. It's a bigger room than the uh, last one that we were recording in. Well, I guess not a bigger room, but it seems a little bigger. Yeah, it's more isolated. It's more efficiently spread out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! yeah! <laughs> and as usual, unfortunately, no music because, you know, copyright. Of course. Uh, there's on but there is only two songs that I turned on for the soundtrack on this game. It's sad but true and can't stop. Because all this other bullshit, fucking stupid ass rap songs that nobody cares about. 
against Kane. The ones that are literally there to be famous just from that. Pretty much. But Ain't yeah. it grand? But yeah, Greg Dynamite, ladies and gentlemen. He's about to blow his stack on the league. Ooh. And unfortunately for now, we won't have us all playing at the same time because we only have one more from control. But we will get that fixed. Oh, one day. One day we'll get it fixed. I just need you to get a new controller is all. Since uh, the Xbox is not really the uh, Metal Joystick home console, believe it or not. Hey, you did a lot with the tattoos and stuff, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't go for any tattoos quite yet. I wanted to make sure that my dude looks bad ace, especially when he's going for that title belt. He definitely looks a lot different than your last, than good old King Ugly. Oh, yeah. Well, King Ugly needed to retire. He was sexually harassing too many divas. Because <laughs> believe it or not, he didn't, he was kind of like Jared Leto. He didn't stay out, he didn't stay out of character. He even tried to use it was just kayfabe in court. <laughs> oh God! Didn't work. Now he's in prison for 23 years. <laughs> the deep lore. <laughs> the deep lore of fucking King Ugly, the one-time fucking WWE superstar that didn't do shit in the last game, but get his ass kicked by literally everybody. Oh my God! He <laughs> had the green spit. Hell yeah, I do. Brother. Yeah! Ooh. Now, do they have the creative finisher back in this one? No, they do not, unfortunately. That's when we'll find you back to full SmackDown versus Raw. Yeah, I totally forgot that they had a create your own finisher thing. Oh, in yeah. In the uh, old SmackDown versus Raw video games. Just, oh, shit! I just beat the piss out of anybody with my finisher. It was just a, just like, onslaught of punches. I've learned and a lot of kicks to the balls. Oh, you were a dirty ass fighter, is what you're saying? Oh yeah. You feel a change in the air. Uh, yeah. Ooh. This superstar is feeling it. Ooh, Looks like he has the upper hand it's payback now. time, motherfucker. How you like that right in the back? Now about to give you. Kick him in the tits. Oh. oh. We're turning the moment, buddy. God damn it. Leave down in the comments if you think Tony's fucking ugly. Because you'd be right. Oh, Jesus Christ. God dang it, everybody. Tony's tried to kill us all. Oh, my God. All right, there we go. I was about to say, I'm not losing to fucking Kane. Kidding me? After working that hard. No! No, he's got me in his fucking choke slam. Oh, damn. Oh, no. You got this. All right. Resiliency. I was about to say, I'm just going to use my resilience. He's got another fucking finisher lined up, though. Oh, God. I think he's about to use it. Yep. Oh, no. Damn, Pam. Oh, fuck. It didn't give me an option to reverse at that time. Ooh. Yeah! Phew! God damn. Okay, so. What? Oh shit. Ooh, the side. The running side slam. Or running power slam, that's what it is. Jesus, Kane is kicking my ass. It's like you were dominating for a while there, and then just Kane decided, hey, you know what? No, I'm done with that. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm a light heavyweight. He's a. I think he's just like a heavy heavyweight. I think game. he's a super heavyweight, actually. Oh, hey, like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I did glitches. We just <laughs> you phased into his leg. We got glitches and switches in this bitch. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Right to the beak. Oh. Rain to the apron. Fuck. I pressed B too. I don't know why it's. Oh God. Oh God. No. Not letting that shit happen. God damn it. 
He would have killed you with that one. Oh, yeah. I would have been a dead man. Dead in the water. Dead man. Man, what what uh what lively trumpeteering we have here <laughs> here at the Metal Joystick. Thanks to our live musicians out there. We're here in um, beautiful Knoxville, Tennessee. Just ready to get fucked. Yeah! Nice. How do you like that? How do you like that? Black Widow, come on. This is my finishing move, ladies and gentlemen. Or one of them. Uh, it appears that he's not damaged enough yet. So he, he is able to withstand the Black Widow. But he will not be able to withstand... Greg Dynamite's wrath here in this match, and why didn't why didn't that work? Oh, jeez! Just tossed you out the ring. God damn! And now his rotund ass is gonna fly down. Oh! Oh my God! That's like 300 pounds of fucking dude coming at you at terminal velocity. Hell yeah! At least 69 miles an hour coming down from there. <laughs> A boy that trash, that ain't right. Oh, fuck you, Kane. You piece of garbage. You big old piece of poop. Talk about a dude that uh, went through a lot of a uh, lot of weird phases in his uh, his WWE career. I don't think I'm gonna get this. It does not look like it. Damn. And here well, thank comes God Tony, Tony came back second. when I wasn't fucking playing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I'm recovering from a pretty rough illness. And I, I, you didn't want to hear that. No, that, that was just happening. Oh, Christ. He's just kicking the shit out of you. Damn, I'm usually... Uh, I just played this game quite a bit today, so I don't know. Hmm. That's probably... what you get for stepping to Kane, I suppose. I guess. So who? I really hope Eddie Guerrero wins this. Ooh. And no. Oh, oh yeah, he yeah, did. he did. All right, Tony Volker against Rey Mysterio. In this fucking match, like, Mysterio, here we go. Man, this is gonna be weird. Oh shit! You're doing you're doing a uh, rivalry actions. Oh. Huh. So it's either press A. Oh. Yours Mutual works. Aggressive. Oh, that's usually for like a, it's usually for a pretty high uh, intensity rivalry. I guess Man. me and Rey Mysterio, Rey Mysterio already have a lot of beef. Man, that, he that... he's just not a Jewish priest fan, and every time he looks at you, he thinks, "God damn, I hate fucking Rob Halford." That's like a five hundred pound Rob Halford. Right not there. for the reason that Kid Rock hates him, though. Oh boy. Uh, Kid Rock. He really doesn't like Bush Light, or not Bush Light, Bud Light. Yeah. Unlike all those snowflakes, Ooh. he's not easily triggered, he says, like a year ago, and then he gets fucking upset about a beer can changing. He seems like the type of person that would say he's not racist because he owns a black car. <laughs> like Kid Rock fans are the reason we can't buy more than one Sudafed. <laughs> you know, you're not wrong. Like, I understand why he has fans because uh, meth heads need something to tweak to. But, you know, fuck that guy. Well, if, who actually cares? All the Bud Light fans, I bet, were like, oh, I'm gonna, well, all the stupid Republicans were making a big fucking deal about it. But if you're really gonna. Pause a big hissy fit over, like, your favorite beer cans changing to uh, something that probably has nothing to do with your own life, then why, uh, why are you getting so upset? Why are you, why are you, why are you mad, bro? Why are you mad? Is the beer still going to taste the same? Yeah. 
and appears that a bunch of country artists are taking uh, Bud Light off their uh, off their uh, bars for their tours, like Travis Tritt. Oh no! Whatever will they do without? Yeah, what'll both the of, of country music? What'll both of his fans drink? <laughs> Man, he is just really fighting for that pin. His mom oh, yeah. and his stepsister. <laughs> both of whom he fucked. Ow. Oh shit! Let me go. By the the newest WWE Hall of Famer, Rey Mysterio. Oh yeah, I just watched uh, a, a short video of him do, getting the uh, the inauguration or whatever you want to call it, and his fucking son just walks out on him. So yeah, he's trying. He's staying in character. Yeah, he's a he's a heel right now. Uh, yeah, these last couple of uh, I think last week. Last week was WrestleMania, or as Santino Morella says, WrestleMania. You have a big mouth, Don Jane. Don Jane. Bubba Bautista. But uh, it was pretty. It was pretty good. Night one was a kind of a dud for a couple of those matches. Like uh, didn't that was pretty really disappointed in the John Cena Austin Theory United States Title match. He just threw me all the way out of the ring. Jesus. But the uh, I need to do some taunts. That's the issue. Here. The tag team match oh, was God. fucking amazing. Though. Nice. Man, the AI has yeah. really improved from the last one. Holy shit! Yeah, <laughs> he took that personal. He did. Jesus. Ah, my arm. Night two really stood out for me, honestly. The Hell in a Cell match between Edge and fucking Finn Balor. Two dudes that I've loved for a long, long time. Well, do you know that Finn Balor actually got injured that that match? Oh really? Had a big ass gash on his head. Oh shit! In the middle of the, actually in the middle of it, the medical personnel went in the cell and gave him some numbing agent and let him go back out and wrestle. <laughs> Ray, you're gonna get disqualified. Oh, he, he's gonna he's gonna throw you back in there. It's usually what these AIs do. Usually what these bots. And these NPCs. Damn NPCs. Bought and sold. Oh god, I think I'm... Oh no, I'm not bleeding. I just have a red headband. No. <laughs> Holy shit, he is fucking floated up there. Oh god. What? What What are you doing, Ray? I don't know, but I'm taking advantage of it. Ow. Give him the chair. They're stop kicking me. Oh no, he's got to use his legs. Oh, damn, that's it. Ooh, the frog splash, that's his finisher. Brazilian Stone Age. Oh, you got it. You're good. What an exciting match here on the first ever WCW Nitro. I'm your host, Jim Stonehenge. We're here at the all this season in WWE. Here on WWE 2K23, critics are calling it the best wrestling game of all time. They'd be wrong, but hey. I mean, they would be. 2000. I don't think SVR 2010 can really be beat. No, it can't. It really can't. I mean, I mean hey, hey, hey guys. Uh, I, I love WWE Stevie Von Ray. I really like the first 2K game. That was, that was, that was pretty good. WWE 12? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was CM Punk on the cover? No, that one was, uh, that was uh, Randy Orton, actually. Uh, and 20, 2019, I think, was the real, they, they really hit their stride in 2019. Or Especially 2022. Like, 2022 was a... Was a or no, 2021, changer. that's the terrible one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only gripe I have is I just wish that Starcade was on here. Because I really like that set. But Raw 2005 is on here. And you can make a set out of the SmackDown set, 2006. Oh, shit! Oh. With the rope break! I thought I was about to just turn this whole thing around. Oh, Tony making his debut on WCW Nitro Reloaded. Since that's what the show is called. You kicked him in the face. We'll have to make another show or something because there's Halloween Havoc on here too. Okay. Be fun. Super hot. Should get a bunch of Zandies. Put a bunch of Zandies and make Ooh. some Lanskers. Ah, I'm gonna make some monsters. Cause uh, your boy plans on really going hard on this game. 
I'm going to make like 40 custom superstars and put them all on one show. Badass. And they're going to be all sorts of like crazy characters. I have a plan for like a two-man tag team called like the Zambies. Just make them Zambies. And then the head Zambie. Hypothetically, if there was two groups of five men in a tag team, where would that confrontation take place at? Oh, uh, War Games! Ooh. You, ever, you ever see uh, my boy William Regal saying War Games? I have, and it's majestic. It is. Man, what a dude that was really good at his job when he was uh, wrestling. Oh, yeah. Really fucking good heel. Um, William Regal was one of my favorite wrestlers for a really long time. He could pull out the mask. He was a, uh... He really had very many interesting, like, moves. Though. No, well, I mean, he was more just a powerhouse kind of guy. Yeah, he did win King of the Ring that one time. Mm -hmm. Go for it again. The body slam. And the leg drop. I forgot you took it from Hollywood Hogan. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. God damn it, Ray. Fuck a bitch. Ow! Oh, cripes. He hit you in the face. Oh, jeez, dog. You better give what in the wrestling world they call a receipt. He's going for it all. Which means it's when you hit your opponent for real when they hit you first. <laughs> Bam! To tell him to slow the fuck down. Much like what Brock Lesnar did. That one time to Braun Strowman. Braun oh, really? Strowman not like need him real fucking hard, and then Brock almost knocked his ass out. <laughs> like, dude, come the fuck down. Like he, uh, Braun had him in a hold, and then he need his face, and then Brock was like, "Okay, he hit me for real." So he punched him in the fucking right in the temple, almost knocked his ass out. <laughs> I was gonna say, did he Ooh. fucking Superman punch him? No, he gave him like full on like those the punches that he won the UFC title with. Oh, shit. Which, by the way, did you guys hear that uh, UFC and WWE are pretty much uh, they're in cahoots? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I heard they about that. they got bought by the uh, the same company. About to say, get him in that, get him in the middle of that. Big line. boot. There you go. One, and two, two three. What a debut! What a debut from Tony Volker taking on Rey Mysterio, the king of the cruiserweights. What a fantastic night so far on WCW Monday Nitro Reloaded. On Wednesday. This is an old man who's really excited. Oh shit. I'm not done. Oh, he's not done. What's he doing now? Give him the butt bomb. Oh, the elbows outside of the ring. All the elbows. Ooh. God damn, you gave him a face wash from hell. Oh, man. High no! risk, high reward. Oh, give him your finisher. Oh, I can't. Why not? It's not let. Oh, there we go. Oh, god damn. That probably hurt you more than it hurt him. Probably. Slammed my whole ass on the concrete. And this is concrete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Amazing. Amazing match. Good job. I feel like I did okay. I'll hand that back to the Xbox champion himself. Tis, that is me. Ooh, Batista and X-Pac. That's that. That'd be a good match to see in real life. Yeah, it would be a good one. And X Pack. Ooh, look who's managing Beth Phoenix. That's a Man. very uncomfortable picture of him, though. Edge, Edge oh, needs look to that get that ass. Him. That's my wife's ass. He really needs to get a haircut. Cause that's that's a good picture of him. Have you seen you've seen his hair recently? He's He's thinning hard. Who, x pack No, Edge. Oh, well, yeah, he has short hair now. Yeah. He needs to just go bald. 
handing the control over to Tyler, who's going to be taking on Macho Man Randy Savage and the Big Boss Man. What a fucking debut <laughs> here, ladies and gentlemen. The Big Blopper. So uh, for this show, we have... Uh, we have the United States WCW champion and the WCW champion and a uh, briefcase. So probably next week on Monday Nitro, we're going to do a briefcase five-way or something like that. A five-way briefcase match. Look at that big boss man. Hey, um, truly a legend. Can you give me a blism of that flip flop? Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We do speak in code here. Oh my god. That's what uh, they should do. They should have terrible copyright free music that you could use in the intro. <laughs> Just nursery rhymes and shit. If you want a Little lamb. But as, uh, as sung by Snoop Dogg. For a fun fact for the people that didn't know at home, favorite wrestler right here of all time. He is a fucking legend. Sky's the limit and space is the place. Fucking love Macho Man Randy Savage. The Macho Man. His, uh, his rivalry with uh, fucking Hulk Hogan. Stupendous. Stupendous. I don't want to hear shit about fucking Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. No. Macho Man and... It was always the cream of the crop rising to the top. (laughs) It really was, though. Although Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior was a good rivalry, too. Mm -hmm. Especially since uh, Ultimate Warrior, I think, won two belts for the first time in the WWE. WWE. Called the WWF at the time. Until the wild one fucking panda place fucking sued him for it. Is that what happened? Yeah, the like World Wildlife Federation or something like that. Yeah. But I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. It's still the same product. Yeah. Well, I mean, they they've gone through a few different brands at that time anyway. Oh yeah. Ooh! He put Macho Man in the corner! Oh, and then the big boss man brought him down! Not the big blopper. <laughs> oh, I always think, whenever I think of the big boss man, I think of that time that she uh, handcuffed Miss Elizabeth, and fucking Macho Man Randy Savage came out with a bright green ass folding chair. <laughs> This was back in the day, you know, so it was like, oh, man. Lar- just larger-than-life superstars, man. Seriously. Oh, yeah. It was like the uh, the golden era, the ru- everything started going well until, like, the PG era started hitting, and then it's just, like, things started getting a little stale. I guess there was, like, John Cena and Randy Orton and Triple H and all them, but... I don't know. Would you? What, I think we might be entering a new era of WWE since that Vince McMahon's back on the creative side again. Yeah. yeah. It could be really good. Which people are fucking pissed about. I tell you what. I mean, I don't blame him because you know Vince kinds of kind of is a piece of shit. But yeah, and he needs to stop using just for men and accept his fucking age. He, he really does. Jesus Christ. He's not fooling anyone with that. No. no. Well, the other thing, too, he needs to stop focusing on just one dude. Oh, yeah. Because that gets to be really annoying. Because it, it's been John Cena for nearly a decade now. Well, that's what they're doing with Roman Reigns, but the problem is that Roman Reigns, I don't think, is... He's not going to be, like, the next Hulk Hogan, but they're no. treating him like it. Like, he looks like he's going to be keeping his title for over a thousand days. And from what I hear from, like, rumors on wrestling forums is that he's not going to defend his titles at Backlash. Really? So it's... So I don't know what the fuck. Because you know what uh, what happened on the Raw after WrestleMania, yeah? Did you hear? No. Oh, uh, Brock Lesnar turned heel. 
Oh. So, fucking. Back to being Brock Lesnar. Yeah, you know? it's just whatever. They can do better than that, man. Seriously. Like, ooh, Brock Lesnar's turning heel. Like, that hasn't been done before. It's not like he's been heel almost the entire time he's been. Yeah, I mean, even when he was a more of a face character. He still wasn't a good face. No. Oh, no. Well, he's, he's just too egocentric. It's like how I don't think uh, Kurt Angle was ever a good face either. No. No, no he wasn't. Oh, with the kendo stick. Ooh, but, uh... We'll have to get the, uh, we'll have to get the Boogeyman. Because the oh, Boogeyman's yeah. in this game now. Nice. I like the Boogeyman. They, they barely acknowledged his existence for, like, the last eight years or more. Well, yeah, he's a fucking, he was a spectacle wrestler. Yeah. Like, well, he, just, like, I don't think he ever, like, won a major championship with him either. Like, I don't think he won the United States or Intercontinental Championship. No, I don't think he did either. Which, did you know that, uh, the only championship that John Cena hasn't won is the Intercontinental Championship? Really? Yeah. Oh. So I'm really surprised that, like, he's he never tried to go for it. Maybe it was just never on his brand at the time. But let me tell you, that, um, that Intercontinental Championship match at WrestleMania Night 2, oh, the creme of the creme, man. It was confirmed uh, to be one of, I think, one of Gunther's uh, first uh, five-star matches by Pro Wrestling Insider, which is like the big, big critic for pro wrestling. Which, by the way, you guys hear about that AEW development? No. They're going to be performing at Wembley. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which I wonder how it's going to pan out because I think they have like... Of course, it's like a really hot wrestling program right now. Yeah. But I don't know if it'll fill up that. That's like... that. I think that fills like a couple hundred thousand people. Especially with like a small ring. Oh, yeah. Well, it depends on if they're playing at the at Wembley specifically or if they're playing at the O2 at Wembley. No, it's at the Wembley. Shit. Like Wembley Stadium. But that, I just read that somewhere, so I don't know if it's true, but it seemed like it. Like, AEW is, like, the hot new product right now. I mean, you kind of need something, you know? Oh, yeah. Because Impact ain't shit. No. You see, uh, if you couldn't tell from the, uh, the previous episodes, oh, shit! The Tombstone Pile Driver. You're putting him away. We're very passionate about wrestling, honestly. Yeah. Like pro wrestling, we uh, we critique that shit hard. Uh oh. Ooh ooh. I mean, like a lot of boys when I was young, I uh, I really wanted to be a pro wrestler. Oh yeah, but same here. Being that my health has always been trash, uh, that, that never became a reality. Obviously. I uh, recently uh, decided that I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start powerlifting and bodybuilding. There you go. Do it. That uh, you know how cool that would be if I was just fucking ripped. <laughs> oh, I think he hit you in the nuts. I think so too. And as a person who's currently working on bodybuilding slash powerlifting, yeah, it's pretty rad. Oh yeah. Like, I want to be a big, buff, fucking chiseled motherfucker. Who wants to be a big, buff, baby? I'm getting to that point where I'm, I'm going to have to start buying new shirts because a lot of them don't fit me anymore. It's a bittersweet it's, feeling. It's better to, you know, gain the weight from muscle than from fat. Yeah. So I think I could keep all those t-shirts if they're just really tight and show the muscles. Take it from a fat man. And t and plus Tyler, don't don't sell yourself short, man. You can you could be like the next Paul Heyman. You could be just like you could be like a bitchin' fucking manager or something. 
Hmm. Nah, he could be like the better Paul manager, Paul Bearer. I mean, I'll take that one. He's a legend himself. Oh, no. I don't I know love if we've they included him in games. I don't know if we've ever established what your guys' favorite wrestler is of all time. Big Show. Oh yeah, <laughs> I knew that. Fucking Big Show. Fucking love the Big Show. Well, well it's the Big Show. <laughs> what about you, Tyler? The big sad slow Um. It's it, it's kind of hard because there's a lot of re wrestlers that I really like. Um, Andre the Giant, Kane, Undertaker. I mean, for the longest time, I would have said Undertaker like immediately. Oddly. And it's still like pretty hard to beat Undertaker in my eyes. Oh yeah, dude. Just for the spectacle. And he's like locker room leader of the century. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, if somebody was having a hard time in WWE, fucking Undertaker would sound straight. Oh, yeah. He was, like, one of the best guys to ever work in the WWE. Oh, yeah. Hands down. No Uh-oh. Oh, good shit, Tyler. Randy was just out there I being think, cocky. Uh, I think this match... As the general manager of WCW Monday Nitro Reloaded, I now determine that this match is the number one contender's match for the United States title. Oh, shit. That'll be defended by Stone Cold Steve Austin next week. Tune in there. And Atlas King punched his ticket to the U.S. Championship match. Oh, yeah. I'll be honest, I was a little I was a little unsure about that match for a moment there. That was a fucking good match, my dude. Yeah. The new guy. God, both of you guys won your debuts. Mm -hmm. Except for me. Metal metal joystick two thirds are great. The other one sucks. And I got them sizzle fingers going. And I'm just too big to fail. That's what my doctor says about my cholesterol. <laughs> it's just too big to fail. God fucking Owen one. Jesus Christ. All right, let's see. Did Tony make waves enough to be on SmackDown for the night? Ooh. No. No. Fair enough. Okay. Let's go to the next show. My co-host, Tyler, would you mind handing me a Sam's Cola? How about you lick my Sam's Cola brand ass? <laughs> you, you. Didn't know you had a brand deal. And just my like that, does, I'm... Also not in Monday Night Raw. So, let's just simulate all this shit. Good enough. You're just not good enough. Guess not. <laughs> let's see. I mean, I, if I'm in this, nope. I'd be surprised. Yeah, no. Nope. All right. So, another week of WCW and Nitro Reloaded, my brother. My brother. God, I'm taking on Kane again. Wait, Man. what? Oh, now you're against the big blopper. Fuck, I look fatter than him. <laughs> That's just an unflattering picture you have of your dad. I don't give a fuck about the news. I just want to see these matches. And we got to change that main event because it'll be... I believe Stone Cold is in the... Uh, is the champion in this one? At least I think that's what I set it for. Eatle, 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 let's make it a one-on-one. -on -one. And let's make it an Extreme Rules match. An Extreme Rules match. There we are, Atlas King. Sizzle fingers. fingers. Uh, champion. Stone Cold is the, uh... Because Stone Cold yep. said so. Because Stone Cold said so. Shit, we're going for a belt, the first match of the new series. Hell yeah, it's the, uh... The brand spanking new series. Gotta get a title defense in there. And plus, our boy Tyler 
he uh, left off on to- WWE 2K22, a champion. So let's see if he can win another Get one. Back. Let me see you back in there. Let's see. Ooh, the God, I, I just realized all Hogan's fucking face in there. He's He's got that baby lip. Oh, yeah. Ooh, post-match humiliating attack, eh? That's what you're going to give me, Kaint? Oh, how about passing the bosom this way? Oh, yeah, I still have it, eh? Yeah, yeah, knucklehead. I'm not Canadian. Kidding me? You're right. We only have one knucklehead in the group. Yeah, yeah we do. Yeah. It's goddamn Tyler. Oh, Canada. Our home and native land. God, I love that transition. This is pretty badass. Right? It do be, though. <laughs> I like this one quite a bit. Me too. I'm a big fan of... Uh, I really like the uh, the WCW eras of a lot of those wrestlers. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, God, you look fucking terrifying. All right. Terrifying to give them the Stevie DDT. Man, I used to make absolute, like, demons when I played this as a kid. Yeah. One of my favorite ones that I ever made, he was, uh, I actually continuously remade him in every game up until I just stopped getting him. But, uh, he was called Unknown. And he was, like, this uber, like, like, white skid, like... Holy fuck! <laughs> he was essentially a Cenobite. Drop kick across the fucking ring. He had that like, black leather shit all over him, and he was he was pretty cool. At least I thought he was. A lot of shit. But I'd spend like hours making like his symbol and shit. And oh, this is just too far. oh yeah, didn't we all? I would spend day, like whole days on just making the making characters. The character creators in wrestling games have always just been like goat tier. Oh yeah. And if you disagree, you're a chump. And I'm glad that uh, clothing looks like clothing now instead Fuck. of plastic. A six inch wide diaper. I'm not hitting these fucking reversals like I want to. Just walking around looking like a sumo. Looking like you got a dumpy. Yeah! Come on! Fuck you, Kane! Come on, Greg Dynamite. Or as we like to call them in the biz, Wish.com Seth Rollins. <laughs> Fuck off. He's not Seth Rollins. He's a lot cooler than Seth Rollins. Well, yeah, he's the Wish.com version. He's edgy. He's the one who really brought you your meth price. Fucking A, Kane. You somebody needs to teach you a lesson, old man. Bring the cock. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Let go of me. Just touched your back against the turnbuckle and tossed it. Seriously. It's not over yet. Oh, no. He's not going to get me out of here. Oh. Fuck. That's a, that's a hit to the face, I tell you what. He kicked out the force. Oh my god. Kill him. Kill him Bam! Ooh. What an elbow. Each of the meaning of this phrase most of the time. Fucking A. Whoop! Oh no. Yes! Hell yeah, I made him bleed. Make him bleed. So brutal. Glad he doesn't have half the time. Unlike that fucking asshole, uh, what's his name? Yeah. Um, oh, uh, Cowboy Orton. <laughs> <laughs> God, fucking Cowboy Orton. God, he was a son of a bitch. Almost fucking gave Undertaker hepatitis. Yeah. Everyone kept telling him, say, hey man, you're not allowed to blade. If you blade, you're done. And he did it. Ooh. I gotta steal the show. There we go. 
Whoa! Man, there's a lot of theatrics going on here. Kane's really helping you sell that one. Hell yeah. Dude was just running at you. Speaking of Kane, did you know that in the movie See No Evil, there was originally supposed to be uh, a scene of Kane naked, and they wanted to make a prosthetic <coughs> to give him a three foot long dong? Oh, oh shit. my god. Oh, Kane, what you the name of fucking... Mark Wahlberg Boogie Nights is this shit. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, it did. Everyone else except for the, the guy who was pitching it was like, what would be the reason? We're like, seriously, why? Just give Kane a hog. And it, 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 apparently the guy had a thing for him. Or something like that. He just... <laughs> he just wanted to see Kane with a, with a three-foot hog, you know? I mean, who doesn't, honestly? I'm not unconvinced he doesn't have a three-foot hog. He skirts around it. <sighs> How good of a dude he is. <laughs> he grew tired of his mother, dude. I love that move. Right? I to give him another one. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Ooh. He learned. He, he learned, learned fucking lessons. quick. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. He just picked you up like a baby. Punched me in the face like his wife. Oh no. What a gutsy performance. They don't make men like they used to. I hit you with that spit again, bitch. <laughs> he's getting real sick of it. He's having a hard time seeing. He's seeing. He's, he's turning green. Let's see if this he's really regretting actually not works. wearing his mask for this match. <laughs> work, yes. <laughs> Yee -hee! All right, that's fine. Woohoo! Jesus! Fucking body splashed him. Oh, I shooting star pressed his ass, my dude. What you know about that? What you know about that? I know all about scat. Oh no! No, you fucking cunt! Ooh, he's a scat man. Ba beam ba 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 da po. Beam ba 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 da po. Beam ba 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 da po. Wrong kind of scat. I'm a scat man. I shit in my girlfriend's he's face. He's spitting in his face and kick at him. Hell yeah. Now he's got the cane cushion. <laughs> Let's give him some of that poison runner. Jesus. Uh oh. I did not want to celebrate. Oh no. I don't want to celebrate. <laughs> he got a little caught up there for a second. Hit your right, your freaking kidney. Hope, you, hope you're ready. Black Widow! Oh shit! Boom! Yeah! Got Kane. To one and one tap now. Out. Not worthy of my presence. God, my I fucking love Greg Dynamite. He does look badass uh -oh. as hell. Oh shit! Ooh. Okay. <laughs> yeah! That's 300 pounds. Get the hell out of here! <laughs> Under your breath, you're just like, dude. Thanks for selling that. <laughs> Every time I create a new character, my first one's always going to be like the mountain man look. It's a crazy wild man living in a cabin north of Saskatoon. Hell yeah, it's definitely like the Unabomber wishes he looked as cunning as that. <laughs> you know, with Elon Fuckers Musk... Do what the fuck? With Elon Musk wanting to send people to Mars, nobody's been a more clever serial killer. <laughs> okay. Oh, it looks like we might have a rivalry starting Tony Volker against the big boss man. I would not mind that at all. Yeah, especially now that he's dead. <laughs> Be I a mean, pretty easy opponent. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is coffee. he dead? Big boss man? I'm almost I'm certain. Yeah, sure. I'm, I think he died of like a heart attack or something. A lot of those uh, old wrestlers died pretty young. They did. Except for Jimmy Superfly Snooker. I mean, even, oh, excuse me, even uh, DDP, 
He died way young, and he was he was actually pretty healthy. DDP. Oh yeah, yeah. Tragic. It really is. He, 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 he definitely was one of my favorites. I really made my guy like two times more built than he was in the last game, didn't I? Yeah. Ooh! The repeating elbows! Oh, yeah. yeah! Oh, dude! He died 20 years ago. Mm. Oh, shit. Pack sock dude. He's another I don't know what that is. was, but he's uh, still alive, isn't he? Oh yeah. I was about to say he was in uh WrestleMania a few years ago. Yeah. Which choke <laughs> on it. <laughs> oh damn, Big Boss Man's already pretty hurt in his head. God damn, he must be some weak bitch. Uh oh, look at what are they gonna do? Oh, right to the face. Ooh. Right to the back of the Ooh. Just punishing Jesus. And honestly, I'm surprised that the uh, the AI didn't choose uh, Brett Hitman Hart to go up against Vince McMahon. Because that's <laughs> usually a pretty high rivalry. Yeah. Leave down the comments if you know. Because if you know, you know. And if you don't Remember know, that time? Day. Remember that one time that Shawn Michaels gave Brett Hart the sharpshooter in Canada? And he almost died? Who doesn't? Ooh. Which, yeah, to clarify, I know in a couple episodes ago, I, I, I misspoke and said that uh, Shawn Michaels did the figure four. No, he did the uh, sharpshooter to Bret Hart. Which is like, like the, uh, which is about as common for uh, Canadian professional wrestlers as the, uh, as uh, cross-checking. Oh my god. The big boss man's not doing too hot here. I mean, he's doing pretty well for a guy who's been dead since 2000. I mean, you know what? <laughs> you know what? You got a point there. You got to cut him a little slack. He's a little rusty. I understand that, um, that WWE has kind Ooh. of a problem with uh, their, su their old superstars that uh, left to go to AEW. Ow. But can we get Chris Jericho to be a purchasable in this game, please? Come on. It's like maybe, like old Chris Jericho too. That'd be super dope. What's your guys' favorite era of Chris Jericho? Cause he had quite a few. Oh God. I like the list myself. <laughs> the, the list was a good one. The list was a good one. You just made the list. Just Chris Jericho in general. Oh yeah. He's just great. Back when um, I first started watching wrestling back in 2008 or 2009, he was in his uh, one of his greatest heel turns of all time because he was just a fucking asshole and a bully to everybody. Yeah. Ooh. Come on, get out. Do you get remember out. the Jericho show? Yeah. And then the Jericho show, too, that only lasted like three episodes. I know he had the, uh, the highlight reel, too. Yeah. And remember that time that he uh, would always call Stephanie McMahon, McMahon a slut? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Some shit that would not fly on today's television. Hell no. Mom, what's a slut mean? It means we're gonna send an angry letter. That's what it means. Yeah, maybe, maybe instead of being good parents, you should just write a letter to um, Vince McMahon, who just won't give a fuck. What the fuck? Yeah, that's a new thing now, too. You can do uh, surprise roll-ups. Roll-ups sounds so fucking good. Especially when they've been rolled up on Oh, yeah. I think I got this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He didn't put up much of a fight. No, it's just a big boss, man. He was, you no, know, he's a legend, but he wasn't really like, uh, he didn't win a lot when he was a heel. Unlike a lot of these fucking new heels that are winning quite a bit. They're really, like, going hard, and the heel is the only 
Like strong one. Oh yeah. I mean gonna do a breakout? Nah. Like uh what's his name? Roman Reigns is a heel. Yeah. And he's doing no, it's an your turn, okay buddy. Job at it. Press uh just keep uh, pressing X simulate. to simulate that one. Simulate. Come on, Cactus Jack, please. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Cactus Jack's another one of my all-time favorites. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's not my favorite uh, Mick Foley character, though. Mankind? No. Dude Love. <laughs> Dude Love. Dude Love's a good one, too. <laughs> that one didn't last too long. No, it didn't. And the basic Mick Foley was always cool, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Triple H went against the Hulk. God damn, are John Cena and Goldberg just the, the latest and greatest tag team of all time? Oh, yeah. They've been, oh, this yeah. is their second time. And it just ended up turning into a singles match. I guess. And Why? the main event, Atlas King in a championship match against Stone Cold. Stone Cold! Stone Cold! What a lineup on WCW Monday Nitro! For the longest time, this that guy was my favorite wrestler. I mean, I can't blame you. Stone Cold's fucking badass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me a hell yeah! What? 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 <laughs> God. Uh. I think, uh. He or DX had the, uh, the best rivalry with, uh, Vince McMahon. I think DX had the best one with McMahon. Oh, yeah. It was pretty close to me, uh, like, the they really fucked with each other a lot, both of them. And let me tell you, that was, that was pretty genius of Mr. McMahon to make himself a character. Oh, yeah. yeah. To perform as just the, uh, the evil boss. <laughs> That rules with an iron fist. I mean, it's a trope that everyone will like watching. Oh, yeah. Especially when the fucking boss is a billionaire. And it also helps when, you know, it's kind of true to life. No, it's not. Jeez, I've heard that Vince McMahon's a sweet guy. I mean, yeah. I actually have heard pretty good things about how he's pretty philanthropic. He's very philanthropic. He, he is a decent dude. He's just kind of a dick sometimes. Oh, yeah. But he's actually, uh, he takes care of his, uh, his talent really, really yeah. good. So that's the most important thing to me. That, and he's got some shit thrown on him in his, in some of his rivalries. Oh, yeah. I don't know, I think the best Vince rivalry was with your creative character in 2010. Oh, yeah. I think the best Vince rivalry, the best Vince rivalry... Was him and Trump. <laughs> Remember that time that Trump fucking tackled him at WrestleMania? Oh yeah. <laughs> that, that dude ended up being the fucking president. Yeah, dude. I I was only hoping that uh fucking Bobby Lashley was gonna be his vice president. <laughs> why didn't he why didn't he give Bobby Lashley the like one of those uh like the Presidential Medal of Freedom or whatever the fuck. Like pretty much the equivalent of getting knighted. But not the equivalent because getting knighted is actually badass. Getting a Presidential Medal of Freedom I can imagine would just be a paperweight for most of those dudes. I mean, pretty much. Especially with how political the world is now. It's literally just a symbol of, hey, I was friends with the President. It's like, I'm already recognized for all my other great accomplishments. You think Bill Gates gave a fuck when he got that award? Hell no. no. Think, think Michael Jordan gave a fuck about that award? No. When Obama gave it to himself? <laughs> it seems like the only one that gave a fuck about that award was fucking Joey Boy. Yeah. Because that guy almost cried about it. But I can imagine that he just cried because he missed lunch. <laughs> I forgot where I was. <laughs> oh, God. I am getting my ass absolutely handed to me. I mean, it's Stone Cold, man. Oh, yeah, he's a 97, I think, at this game. Yeah. And that's with a championship on. If, if you put a championship on uh, Roman Reigns, he is a... What the diamond did you He's a uh, 100 overall. Really? Yeah. Jesus. Where are you going there? 
He's bringing the stairs. And he's stepping up to you, Tyler. What happened to the stairs? The page took them down because I am grounded. That's disturbing. Oh boy. You want some stairs? Wait. Ooh, those strikes. Ooh. Oh, well, there goes the stairs. The Nobody steel steps. I think it's our, our Elmer? Makes me wonder what those, uh, what those are made out of. Oh, yeah, this is an Extreme Rules match, so you can... Oh, you're gonna get the sledgehammer? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Come on. Come on, man. Man, I'm sad they changed it to that. I miss the overhanded swing to the <laughs> SmackDown versus Raw. Yeah. Yeah, probably because the probably because some stupid kids tried to do that and actually end up killing their friends. Probably. Then Vinny Boy was like, "Oh great, Chris Benoit, and now this." Oh, Whoa. I've been doing uh, that's that's one dude that uh, that really lost today. Oh yeah. More, I, believe it or not, the more I hear about him, the less I care for the man. Yeah. It, 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 it's kind of tragic when you first like read about it, but then once you get more and more into it, you realize, oh, it's not tragic. He was just a terrible person. Yeah. Well, well he, his brain was mangled to hell too, you know. I mean, he, I can't he was say a forty-year-old man that had like. A brain of an 80 year old Alzheimer's patient. Yeah. He, he really screwed himself up. I, the WWE really screwed him up too. It was just kind of a, a whole load of bullshit. Oh, yeah, they were prescribing him steroids. Yeah. Can I just say, if I haven't said it yet, I love the scan lines on the TV. Right? I think I went with the 90s filter on this show. Since I think this show is from the 90s. I think so. WCW Nitro? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Back when, uh, back when Monday Night Raw was on Spike TV, the, the channel for dudes. Dude, Spike TV. Tonight on Spike TV, a dude goes out and doesn't get laid. <laughs> Just kidding, he does. Ooh. God, Spike TV had some interesting programming, I tell you what. Who remembers Mansers? God. Oh, God, yeah. Or the Man Show. What do you think the uh, the female equivalent of uh, of uh, Spike TV is? I'd say it's the uh, the Bravo channel. Bravo, yeah. Just home up. Because let me tell you, since we got Peacock, that's uh, my fiance's favorite shows are on the Bravo channel. Like she likes that. Uh, uh, she does like the housewives. So I do hear the uh, just fucking bickering and bitching and fucking squawking between all these bitches. <laughs> Which let me tell you, this is this. I am 100% convinced that they don't live as stressful as of a life as they uh, portrayed on television. Oh hell no! There's no way that some that people are that unhappy. I prefer my drama, long-winded storylines, and petty bullshit to be in my wrestling. Thank you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and every time I keep hearing, like, wrestling, you know it's fake, right? I'm like, yeah. Did you know that, uh, like, uh, all those superhero movies aren't documentaries either? <laughs> like, stay away from New York for that reason. You'd be shocked, but Two and a Half Men isn't just an autobiography of Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Uh, I don't think he can bust him into the rails on, in this uh, arena. I, I figured I'd give it a couple tries. That and I've forgotten how to do grappling moves for some goddamn reason. It's a... Uh, you gotta press B and then whatever direction, X or A. Because we're on Xbox terms now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm invading the... Uh, invading the workspace here. Come on, let me up now. Let me up now. Oh, Ooh, fuck. How you've been cut open every match you played so far. Yep. Hit him with a set of brass knuckles. God damn. 
Which I hear really fucking hurts. I mean, they're brass knuckles, man. They're not supposed to be friendly. I heard you can, if you get hit in the face with brass knuckles, it won't feel, won't tickle. Oh no! oh no! Oh! So cold! So cold! Oh! Oh, oh. oh man! You thought, you little poor. He's definitely not letting you get the edge back. God like, damn. He is holding on to his lead with every fiber of his being. What the hell is his uh, goddamn signature move? That's Jesus. Move. And what's your finishing move? Uh, whatever Undertaker's is. Oh, you got Tombstone Piledriver. Yeah. Come on now, let me up or, do, or hit me. Hit me! He's waiting for you to get up. Oh! Good God! Man, these extreme Brutal. rules aren't very extreme. What a dodge! Oh, oh, he reversed it. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, the Texas rattlesnake is striking. Oh shit! Uh -oh. oh shit! Oh! oh! He reversed it. What a match between Stone Cold and Atlas King here for the United States WCW Championship. Tombstone Pile Driver. Could he end it here? Damn it. Needed to pull him over a little. The Stone Cold turned it around. What a strike to the knee. Oh shit, the roll up. We have a new champion. champion. We have a new WCW United Can States champion. Bom, 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 bom. Yes, be sure to subscribe for more episodes of WWE 2K23 and more awesome gameplays from the three of us, man. And we're glad to be back. We had to take a while off, as we said, because we moved, but we're back now. Yes, we're back now with Cash Cows, and here we are with more WWE points here because we have an amazing match. Oh, yeah. Make sure to have a sexy day. Keep it metal. Cause it affects. Fuck!